Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review a new ROM. Yes, that is right. We have actually received an update of a new ROM, and the ROM is actually called Alpha Droid. So let me go to the device specification now. As you can see, it is the Alpha Droid, and it has a beautiful logo. Well, uh, to give you some glimpse about Alpha Droid, Alpha Droid is kind of a lineage ROM, and I feel like it is actually having something similar to rise droid and uh, cr droid so you can expect uh, those cu customizations which are actually available with the rise droid or cr droid now the rom comes with uh, g apps and the device maintainer is junior noob and many thanks to junior noob for bringing such an awesome rom for our uh, device now the kernel that's being used in this particular rom is 4.19.261 ania um, so that is about the ROM and the XC Linux status is enforcing. So let us come back to the ROM. Well, the ROM is actually having uh, default GApps. Even though it is having default GApps, but still you can get the um, get the lineage browser. Then uh, you will have the AOSP dialer over here. So um, messages. It is going to be again AOSP messages. So basically, you can expect to have all the AOSP applications along with the Google Photos, Play Store, and stuff like that. So uh, the ROM is not actually bloated with a lot of Google applications. Now, the Quick Settings, it is actually something similar to the stock Quick Settings. They have not modified anything on the Quick Settings. Now, um, let us go to the Settings page now. You can see that the Settings page do have a separate layout. Now this layout reminds me of .os layout. Now all the other options that remain the stock. So there isn't any much uh, user interface changes for the other options. Now alphabet is where you can find the customizations in the ROM. The first option that you will have is user interface. Now under the user interface you can change the settings style into AOSP dot or NAD. So, um, uh, I mean, if I change the style, definitely um, it is going to actually ruin the screen record. So I won't be able to show you. Um, so apart from the um, setting style, you will have the modern settings, customization, uh, fonts. You can choose a couple of nice fonts over here, signal icons and uh, Wi-Fi icon sh style and finally the icon shape too so basically in this page what we really or what is interesting to me is the settings style where you can try three different settings layout for your settings user interface the second one is status bar so the first one you will have is the status bar icons and uh, network traffic and you can customize the network traffic unit sizes and stuff like that then uh, clock and date you can enable uh, auto hide the clock and date if uh, the launcher is uh, if if you are on the launcher side and uh, you can enable or disable the background tick punch stuff like that then data disable indicator location privacy indicator you logo you can display logo and you can choose custom si style there is actually about a 30 style logos are present here so really uh, that part is also amazing then battery style you can choose to have different sort of batteries battery icons and stuff like that then you what is really more interesting is you can adjust the status bar padding you can adjust the top padding left part left padding and right padding as per your wish now this is this part of customization is is uh, is offered by only a couple of roms a few roms otherwise you will have to install the flash the magisk asp mod and stuff like that to get these settings I do really appreciate the developer of this particular ROM for including such a nice feature. Now the second one is quick settings. You can customize the battery uh, location for the quick settings clock and stuff like that. Then uh, you can adjust the brightness lighter position. Then you can toggle the background transparency. Well the ROM comes with uh, blur enabled by default. So if you are actually having some sort of lag make sure to disable the blur. So if you, if you have enabled the blur, definitely this background transparency is a good option to uh, try. Then you can actually arrange the columns and um, columns for the user interface. So that is something that we have with the quick settings. Now the, the second, the third, fourth one is buttons. Well, buttons is something that we have normally all the standard um, options are over here. 
then lock screen again a um, couple of standard op options like tap to sleep ripple effect and stuff like that then battery info and stuff like that then uh, notifications there is actually a reticker option under the notification then there is there is a force stop button and apart from that everything is normal navigation um, sound uh, unfortunately there is no option to uh, enable the custom volume panels and miscellaneous you will have the unlimited photo storage uh, there is actually an option to enable or disable google services too and a swipe to screenshot uh, sensor block per package so these are the customizations that are actually available with the rom to be honest with you the rom is actually ha actually uh, uh, giving a nice experience to me so if you prefer to use a rom which has a lot of customization you can definitely give a try to alpha droid once again i would like to thank junior noob for his effort of uh, for putting effort in building this rom and many thanks for you to watching my rom review thank you